so in this part of the lecture video I'm going to show you how you can how you should collect the data collect the data and the idea is you'll have to form groups of four to of four to five people where each student will draw five 20 centimeter long straight lines with their non dominant hand however I have I will, I've decided that I'm going to modify this 20 centimeter and change it to 100 centimeter. <clears throat> and actually, this five, when considering under three different conditions, would become 15 trials. So, five for no feedback, five with knowledge of results, five with knowledge of performance. So, let's start with no feedback situation which highlights task intrinsic feedback where the idea is the first participant or student number one will come he or she is blindfolded so she, they cannot see they have the coin in their hand and the ruler is laid in front of them on the table and the target is set to be 100 and they slides the coin and maybe in trial number one end up at position 80 centimeters <coughs> and then trial number two uh, so before moving on to trial number two they open their eyes and see where their position is that's how they get the intrinsic feedback then does trial number two and maybe end up at 85 and gradually they finish the task intrinsic feedback phase after they're done making trial number five and maybe <clears throat> 92 so say for instance the in trial number one it was 80 the trial number two it was 85 then it was 87 maybe then 67 and in uh, trial number five it's 92 and in between each trial they're allowed to see their position however when they start they're blindfolded again and the same is the other students does the same and they complete this segment of the table after they're com done computing this only then they can move on to knowledge of results and o after they're done with this only then they can move to knowledge of performance Now, when you're done collecting all this data, having 100 as your target position, then <clears throat> what you are to do is compute the mean of each column. How would you do that? You first add all this, all these numbers over here, divided by the number of students, you find the mean. So, first you do it for only no feedback case and you're left with a graph where the x-axis is the trial number and the y-axis is the average score and if you see the graph the average is 100 over here and if you see the graph starts from 80 and goes like this in that case you can understand tra task intrinsic feedback is working if it goes like this in that case you will understand that over trials they are not improving through task intrinsic feedback the same would happen with knowledge of results so you have a separate graph with trial numbers here <coughs> and the average for knowledge of results on the y-axis and the target is here 100 centimeters and if this goes like this you understand that they're improving and if it's like this it's not knowledge of results are not working and you have to compare these two graphs actually you will have another graph like this here and you'll have to compare all these three graphs to answer all these questions so this is one table and so this is your table number one and this is your one set of graphs with only the average 
you will also have to do another table which is a little modified version of this table and you will have to compute the absolute error that we have taught you in lab number two so now I will show you with a dummy set of values how to compute the average and create these graphs and also how you can compute um, the absolute error and show these three graphs however the other two knowledge of results and knowledge of performance has to be done by you so in this segment I'm going to show you how you can compute the average using no feedback and then I will show you how you can compute the absolute average error considering no feedback the other two cases which are KR and KP needs to be done by you following the method that I've show I am about to show over here so the idea here is you have all the students and we have a dummy set of data that we have collected first let us compute the mean value or the average for that we use equal to average for age open parentheses select all of them close parentheses enter then what you can do is you can click on this edge drag it along to the right and you can do it has done similar operations for the rest so for here you did the computation of average using these values the computer automatically here would do the computation of the average for these values and here for these values it will do the average computation for these values over here these are done automatically when you drag it just to show this is okay and I'm not saying something which is not true let's do it uh, the same way so average bracket open select all of them bracket close enter so let's remember this value 95.8 now let's do it by dragging so place the mouse over here click on the edge drag it 95.8 so I was not lying and it works now let me show you how you can create the graph for all these average values considering the no feedback case average of the mean values considering the no feedback case so the idea is first select anywhere maybe here and then you select insert click on line and then click on display trend over time or ordered categories and you can see that the computer did something weird it created a graph but it's not the graph that you wanted so click on these lines so let's expand this first uh, let's move this here enlarge it oh, wait uh, enlarge this so let's select them manually one two three four five some data over here okay okay let's try it again so um, let's so I've pressed a lot of control Z's and so we drag this and make it bigger and we delete all the one two th three four and five now we have a blank slate or canvas now we are to select right click oh and press select data and then we add the name of the series is no feedback mean values and the data that I'm gonna use are selected by clicking on this and for that we know that the mean value is here and we place our mouse over here click on it and drag it to the right one two three four and five let's put enter and so you can see that it became like this and then we put ok then we have all the y values over here now we have to fix the horizontal or the x-axis value let's click edit 
and we know that the horizontal x-axis values are the trial numbers which are given over here one two three four five so i select here one two three four five it's selected then we press ok so the y values are here the x values are here and you can see that the computer has made no feedback mean which represents this curve and we press ok and you can see all those values over here so somewhere around here 80 it gradually increases to and goes towards 100 so your performance is getting better in no feedback mean with task intrinsic feedback actually so let's lower this or reduce this image move it to the right and you can see that these values are highlighted over here and you can see these are selected which highlights that this graph is a representation of these values only now let us do some other computation for so let us do the not some other computation we are now we are going to do the average absolute error computation considering the target to be 100 how do we do that it's simple so we know the definition of average absolute error and we also know the definition of average sorry the definition of absolute error for that what we do is we go down and so in this segment we are going to create the absolute error how do we do that let's do equal sign the value for trial number one for student number one is 78 so we select 78 minus 100 and we know this 100 will be fixed because this is the target well, so we place a dollar sign around this so that this part of the table is fixed for all computations and since we're taking the absolute error we have to put absolute and let's put enter so the absolute error for 78 considering 100 is 22 now let's click on this edge drag it down and you can see that it has been computed for this row completely now let's do it for the sorry this column completely now let's do it for the rows we drag it to the right it's done for this row drag it to the right it's done for this one the same now if you don't believe that this dragging works let's click on any of these values so it would be 2 and you can see that 2 means 98 minus 100 which is minus 2 when you take the absolute value it's 2 so it's given 2 over here and now let's take the average in that case please don't drag this part you have to do it by hand otherwise things will get messy so let's equal sign average hold on to the uh, open parentheses drag all this bracket close enter it's 22 now we can do this for this so we can drag it for this click here hold on to it drag it to the right this is computed now in order to place all this information in this graph let's go back to the graph do the right click select data let's add another value another set of data which would be here the series is no feedback and here we are considering absolute average error and the series values are this so let's delete all this so okay so let's click this part first and let's select it manually one two three four five let's put enter let's click ok and ok this time we don't have to change the x-axis because it's the same as before so one two three four five let's click ok and as you can see the average improved and the error decreased 
so here I have showed the graph for only no feedback situation considering two cases one with the average value one with the average absolute error so in your case you will have another two sets of data with no feedback sorry with knowledge of results mean knowledge of results AAE then you will have knowledge of performance mean knowledge of performance AAE so you will have three graphs like this and you will have to combine all these graphs to answer question number one thank you I hope that this will be helpful for you to uh, do lab number four if you have any questions feel free to come and see the TAs during their office hour. Thanks.